Welcome builders, Andy is Yodi here and welcome to a tutorial on how to build a cotton field in Minecraft. And a big shout out to my patrons who helped me invent this, especially Blue2 who built this entire field himself. This is part of my Atlantis city project and these farms are on the outskirts of the giant city. And we thought someone in the Twitch chat actually, a live stream on Twitch, suggested a cotton field. I'd never built a cotton field in Minecraft before. Look at this place, isn't it cool? What a great little place. So this uses a custom player head. I'm going to show you how to get that in a minute for Java Edition on the PC. And it uses dead bushes. We've got Podzo, coarse dirt and grass path. And also these uh, peonies as well. I'm using the Stevens traditional texture pack and BSL shaders for your information. Doesn't it look fantastic? A beautiful, beautiful, kind of a diagonal. I'm going to show you how to do these diagonals as well. Isn't it beautiful? What a great cotton field a great addition to a farm you might have on your server or in your world lots of different things you can do for farms in minecraft of course you've got berries for berry crushing you've got wheat fields you've got cows and all sorts of stuff uh, but this is cotton and this is unusual and um you could even build a little house here to process the cotton look at this this is so cute I love this. This was done by uh, Raw Potato, one of my patrons as well. Look at that. Little looms processing the cotton, turning them into clothing as well. It's a great way of adding some good atmosphere to your village or your town or kingdom. So how do we build it? Well, first of all, we need this special player head right here. So if you have the head database plugin, it's pretty simple. You go h slash hdb search cotton and that's a very easy way of getting this player head if you want it if you've got the head database plugin i'll leave a link to that plugin in down below if you don't have that and you're in single player let's uh, disconnect and jump into single player then you're going to need a special command block so you're going to have to do first of all slash give oh you need to open to land first of all allow cheats and turn it into creative mode start your land world and then slash Give Andy is Yoda a command block. And once you've got your command block, you can plunk it down there. And now I'm going to go to a website which gives you some uh, player heads. And this is the website I found, minecraftheads.com, minecraft-heads.com. And what you can do is click on search head and I put uh, cotton, oops, like that. Press return and uh, we found it right there, the cotton head. So I click that and then I need to copy this entire... Uh, piece of text here so we copy that and then back in the game we can click on that uh, paste in the big command for the cotton player head I like to put needs needs redstone click done and we put a, a button on the side and when you press it there we go we've got given a cotton player head so that's how you do it in um, single player so back onto my server again and we're gonna put our cotton fields in this section right here. So I'm going to show you how to do these beautiful worked out by Blue2. Amazing job actually. How to do this with um, Podzel and Paths. So first of all, let's start here. I want to mark out a little area like that. Uh, just two by two by three, little six area. And then add a three on the side. One, two, three. And then go for another one, two, three, four, five, six. Add a three. Then more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Add a three. And you just start to glide over. And the, the beautiful thing about it is you can start to go up hills as well. And it looks fantastic on a hill, doesn't it? Absolutely brilliant on a hill. So if you've got a little uh, bit of landscaped territory, this would be the thing to do. Another two by three and then a three. And you can keep going. And it actually doesn't matter if you use more. If you use four, if you use three, what I mean by four or three, instead of using three by two, you could use four by two as well. And it still looks pretty good. So there we go. Once that's done, all you've got to do now is grab some coarse dirt. Scatter that down the sides, whatever you want. Then some paths. You get the idea, right? Just paths 
everywhere. Let me do another couple of these. I'll leave a couple of grass blocks just to save a bit of time. There we go. That is roughly what you want. Actually, it looks quite good if you leave some grass blocks, I think. And now we want to place these structures. Now, to get the player head, this player head here on top of the grass, uh, on top of the dead bush, what we need to do is put down some grass blocks first of all where we want this to happen and stick your player heads on top make them at all different angles if you can and get rid of the grass blocks and you can pop your dead bushes underneath it and it looks like little cotton plants what a beautiful design now of course you can have some without cotton growing on them yet so you can scatter them in as well you could also put in these peonies as well, which I think look great. And if you can't use the player heads, maybe just the peonies mixed in with the, de the dead bushes actually looks like cotton as well. So you don't actually need the player heads. But if you can get the player heads, it just adds that big blob of cotton look, uh, which we like. So once you've got some of them, you can mix in some little posts, which look like uh, cotton plants with just absolutely nothing on them as well. You can mix these in wherever you think it looks good like that. Do, do, do. like that and there we go and if you're really really cool you can start to blend the texture so I've got some oak uh, fences and then some spruce fences as well and you can see later on we kind of change some of our designs as well to make a bit more use of these fence posts and we even put some of the player heads right on top of the fence posts as well mixing blending making it look random so there we go peonies You've got fence posts, dead bushes, and you've got this custom player head that looks like cotton kind of growing on top. I absolutely love it. And it just makes a fantastic looking farm, a cotton farm, ready for picking in your Minecraft farm world. I hope that helps. I hope that inspires. If it does, leave some feedback in the comments below and hit that like button. I will see you in a tutorial very soon indeed and another episode of Atlanta City coming up next week as well. Thanks for watching. Take care. Ciao, ciao. The blocks be with you.